Greetings, 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 greetings to my warriors, to my subscribers, to my TGs, to my family, and my friends. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Y'all, the kid is coming through with a 777 energetic pick a card reading. Ayi, vo, vo, ashe, yo. Ancient energies have been coming through. Yummy, y'all bust through just as I was preparing for this reading, Ashe, Ashe, give me your number is seven, divine number is seven, this is a divine time, divine month, divine energy, energetic energy, Ashe, Ashe, please pay attention to your dreams, the signs, the symbols, the synchronicities, Ashe, Ashe, we also know the seven has that uh, as above, so below, as within, so without energy, so more to be times three, Ashe, Ashe, Ayi, Bo, Bo, Ashe, yo, what you throw out is coming back to thee. Ashe, Ashe. So this is unexpected energy uh, that is presenting itself, giving you a boost, giving you some clarity, some knowledge, a warning, a heads up, all of that yummy goodness, baby. I can't wait to go ahead and dig into it. So let's rock. Ashe, Ashe. Power one, you are the poet. Power two, you are the sleeper, baby. Pile three, you are the patron. Ayi bo bo, ashe yo. For those that are new here, my name is Robin, the creatrix of Amethyst and Clover. Like, comment, and subscribe if this reading rocks with you. Ashe, comment down below and let the kid know. Ayi bo bo, ashe yo. Yes, if you can hear the music in the background, that is coming through from Lo-Fi, Lo-Fi. Ashe, Ashe, I love uh, that channel. Ayi bo bo. Copyright free, royalty free music come on through. Creating a vibe, creating an energy, creating the mood, baby. It always gets me through. Ashe, Ashe. So let the kid be quiet. Don't forget to take your three deep cleansing breaths in through your nose. Holding it for a four, six, or eight count. And releasing it like... <sighs> yes. That'll get the body, the mind, the spirit to open up. To allow this message to come through. For you to get the energy and the vibrations and the words of encouragement and the power and the peace that you need. Ashe, Ashe. Don't just take my word for it, baby. Take a look at the cards as they are being shown. As they're being thrown. As they're being given. Take what you need and leave the rest. Ayi bo bo. Ashe yo. Power one. This is your reading. Here you have the poet. You could be a water sign, uh, the person that is coming through, because this is all about uh, love coming through, baby. You could be a water sign. They could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ashe, Ashe. Very soft and gentle and kind. And it seems as if that's what you've been looking for, regardless of... Um, whether you're a, a man, a woman, hybrid. Power one, this is your reading. And you have the poet. Yimmy Ya is coming through to let you know that love is on its way. But it really is up to you whether or not you want to um, accept this. With all these sevens, this is amplified energy of divine. This is amplified energy of Yimmy Ya. Love, patience, kindness, gentle, sincerity. Uh, leading and loving with the heart is coming through that there is a person that is on its way on their way to you on its way to you power one this is your reading so here you come through as the poet ashe ashe uh the love that we've been hearing and feeling and talking about is coming through for you power one ayi bo bo Ashe, yo, you could honestly be uh, someone who writes journal, uh, write songs, create music. Ashe, Ashe, you understand that you're the one that is the creatrix in your life, the creator in your life. You're the one that's writing out this story. You know that you're the heroine, you know, in this in this beautiful uh, story that's going to unfold. Ashe, Ashe, you have a great under inner, under overstanding. Power one, this is your reading. Here you are as the poet. The poet is bringing energy of relationships and vulnerability. You could be a uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We're still in Cancer season, baby. Yes, 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 and yes. So uh, love 
Yemiya is coming through to say love uh, is coming through for you. And the choice to accept it or not, that's totally up to you. Free will is given to all of us. Ashe, Ashe. Just because they're your mate doesn't mean that you're going to be accepting. Doesn't mean that you even want it. Even though for divine to bring it through, baby, oh, you want it. So this is the time to be truthful with yourself. Take a look at your journal entries. You could have been auto writing at times where uh, you may not have been aware. Things may be in there pointing to, yeah, you're looking and seeking for love and it is on its way. Ashe, Ashe, uh, continue to understand that your vulnerability is your greatest strength. Continue to understand that uh, when it comes to uh, love, balance, peace, and harmony also comes along for the ride. These are deep emotions. You could have uh, a love of tulips, ashe, ashe. Uh, you could be left-handed, ayi bobo, ashe yo. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what else uh, is coming through. Clarity on up. Uh, okay, it's it's these. Give me one moment. And this one okay oh okay love is hot yeah there's a there's a deep connection uh that is taking place here get the vibe and energies of these cards as they come through for you ashe ashe uh, you may want to write some of these uh messages down when you find that they're hitting their you know you're responding you feel that tingle uh you, you feel something whatever it is you're feeling Again, don't just take my word for it. Take a look and see uh, what is unfolding. Ashe, Ashe. So you me y'all with all of this blue and all of these connections and all of this love. From what I can see right off rip, it looks like it's going to be a good balance. Here we have uh, feminine energy at the forefront and being loved and protected by masculine energy in the background. Here we have them coming together. Uh, still feminine energy is moving towards um, and then there's also that reciprocal energy and vibration. And then this is all about um, the sexual energy. Ashe, Ashe. Child, I just heard that if you've been having like vanilla sex, this romantic relationship, this partnership that's coming through, it's definitely going to bring more flavor. It's definitely going to bring more fire. Ashe, Ashe. If you've always wanted to try this position, that person that's going to come through, it's going to be one of their favorite positions. Ashe, Ashe, they're going to support you in, in all your endeavors. Whatever it is you want to do, baby, you could take the lead, have it your way. It doesn't mean that they're expecting you to support them. It really means that they have your back. They're not going to try to stifle you. They're not going to try to tell you what to do or how to move. There's going to be a, a good balance here. It's going to be full of love and passion. And yes, baby sex. There, I said it. There it is. It's going to be that. Let's see what the vibe is. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Like I said, divine is all over this. With all these sevens, amplify energy. Definitely allow nature to take its course. Divine is saying, be patient. They're coming. Don't forget that with that seven energy we were talking about, uh, just think about in the tarot, we have the seven of swords. That's all about deceit and lies and tricks and things like that. Uh, seven of wands be coming through with the energies of having to defend. Ashe, Ashe, the seven of cups, so many options, thoughts, and possibilities. Ayi bo bo. And the seven of earth is also talking about having some patience, enjoying what you have. And knowing that there is more to come, the work is not over. Ashe, Ashe. So be patient is what they're saying here. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This is that energy that's coming through from divine. Ashe, Ashe. You should have a good inner under overstanding by now of what it is that you're looking for. This is what divine is saying. Divine is saying you've been asking, you've been wanting, you've been praying. Well, here it comes. You want to honor and treasure that. There's no need to second guess it. Get specific. As you're waiting, get specific. Go back to the table. Go back to heart. See what the heart is saying. Something could have changed. You know what I'm saying? But divine's energy and the vibe and the person that's coming through for you has not. Passion. 
Woo! A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Yeah, that's coming through that you feel your mate coming. You feel your person coming. You know that they're on their way. And yes, you do have a little bit of anxiety. You're nervous. Ashe, uh, you have expectations of them, but you don't know what their expectations are is of you and again this is coming through with divine divine is saying that i understood the assignment baby you ain't even gotta worry there's no need to worry enjoy the energies that you're feeling if you find that more uh people are starting to come to you starting to flirt with you starting to take notice to you and you're trying to figure out who is it out of all of these who is it there's no guessing game here they're not going to be one of those people that sit in a cut and wait for you uh, to notice them. They're going to come to you confidently, spiritually, sacredly, lovingly, and, and beautifully full of um, that, that strength. But you can see the softness in them. May have a hard exterior, soft, ooey-gooey interior. Ashe, Ashe, this is a time to just, you know... Feel the energies. When these people come to you, your your soul is, is seeking its soul mate. You know, your flame is seeking its twin flame. Ashe, Ashe. You having this human experience is looking for your human, is looking for your person, baby. Ashe, Ashe. There is no guessing game here. This is what Divine is coming through to tell you. There is no guessing game here. All you have to do is be patient. Stay open and protected, but stay open to love. Don't allow the past to dictate and determine how you move. Continue to move with grace. Ashe, Ashe. With all of this love energy, you could also be a Taurus or Libra. Venus energy. Ayi bobo, Ashe yo. Yes. Let's go ahead and take a look into the title, baby. And I'm using the Tarot of Oneness, Ayi Bobo. Clarity, please. All right. And we still have that light camera action coming out. See, they're taking notice of you. They're seeing you. Mm -hmm. Let's get clarity on that. Okay. Three more. All right. Aye, boo boo. I shall. Yo. All right. So, yeah, you are very closed off into um, this feeling. The only thing that you are noticing right now is that, um, yeah, you are being watched. You're not necessarily sure how you feel um, about the attention. Ashe, Ashe. You definitely want to take um, some time to go inward, pile one. Um, with all of these energies that are coming out in reverse, and I really don't read reversals like that, but I can't help but notice that there's only one card that is um, direct. Ashe, Ashe, and that is a six of wands. So uh, you're you're busy looking out into. Uh, the crowd trying to find that person but on the inside of you uh, there's a lot of impatience there's a lot of insecurities and doubt like you're hopeful and you you want to believe like you probably get a lot of readings or you watch a lot of readings in regards to love uh, you do a lot of meditations and a lot of prayers and a lot of writing and uh, asking your Lawaja or Orisha, your spiritual tribe um, about this love you need confirmations and clarity in regards to this love well that's not going to come on the outside of you 
you're going to have to learn to trust the work that you put in in regards to wanting that love. Ashe, Ashe, you may need to go back to the basics. The as above and the so below. You've been putting in a lot of work and it's coming through that it is working. You just need to have more patience here. They are out in the crowd. But until you um, get some clarity on you and trust yourself and trust your abilities and, and trust that all of this growth, it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. You're feeling more exposed, more vulnerable, more in the spotlight. That's what I was talking about, more in the spotlight. And you're afraid that your person won't be able to find you. So maybe you've been isolating yourself. Maybe you've been going into seclusion, Ashe, Ashe, and trying to figure out, well, how is this person going to find me? This is not a, a guessing game. This is not a, a, the luck of the draw, Ashe, Ashe. This is aligning yourself in the knowing in the implementation, in the manifestation, in the power of you. Ashe, Ashe. Okay, it's time to get to work on that. There's nothing that um, is stopping you from being your most authentic self. They will love you. Ashe, Ashe. You know, they may not be, because I just saw, you know, looking at, you could be, like I said, an artist, tattoo artist. Um, there's a there's a quill here. There's a pen here, Ashe, Ashe. There's some form of working with ink, Ayi Bobo. Uh, maybe they come from corporate and you're a creative, Ashe, Ashe. And you're trying to understand how does this work? Oh, you could be a tattoo artist and they could be coming to get a tattoo. Both of y'all may be going to get uh, food for your, your fur baby. Ayi Bobo, Ashe Yo. Uh, maybe German Shepherds. Um, I'm looking at the, the size and the face of the dog. So I'm looking at Husky, uh, German Shepherd, uh, Big Dog. Ayi Bobo. They coming through as the big dog, baby. You are the big dog. It's coming through that um, you have to know your worth. Ashe, Ashe, Emperor Energy, Aries Energy. Uh, you or they could be an Aries coming through. Ashe, Scorpio Energy with the death and rebirth coming through. Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. You're very impatient. Your, your spiritual tribe is telling you, have some patience. Have some patience. We have water and fire energy here. So this is the balance. And like like I said, um, it may be like the, the odd pairing, i.e. bobo, but it's going to work. It's going to work. You have one foot in and one foot out. This is why everything is was coming up in reverse because you got one foot in and one foot out. You're going to have to take charge. You're going to have to take the lead. The love is yours if you want it. Divine cannot force you to accept each other. That's free will. Yemi Yah cannot force you to see your mate. That's something that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to see your mate clearly. Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, you could be in the process of coming through uh, your shadow work. Or you're going into your shadow work. There could be some past energy that is coming up. And that energy is coming up to, you know, it looks like it's creating havoc and chaos. But it really is begging to be put to bed. So there could be an ex trying to pop up and, and you know, prevent you from moving forward. Preventing you from um, aligning yourself or being available to your mate here. Ashe, Ashe. You're, you may be trying to figure out, well, how is he going to be soft? How are they going to be soft and loving and kind? How is she going to be soft, loving and kind and still have all this fire, still be a warrior, still be, you know, a, a ruler? 
Hmm. Let Oshun come through. You can catch more beads with honey than you can with vinegar, baby. Ashe, Ashe. That's how. There is a, a change that's happening in your life, a metamorphosis that's happening in your life. There's some growth that's happening in your life. And when this person comes through, they're going to add to that. They're not going to take away anything from you. They're not going to... Um, love bomb you they're not going to bamboozle you they're not going to hoodwink you even if they try to this stage in the game power one you see what it is you know what it is there are a lot of people watching you there are a lot of people fighting for your attention be mindful though because if you have all of these people that are around you from from you know from from my era gen x from from my era you know a man doesn't want a woman who have all these men around her. And a woman doesn't want a man to have all these women around him. Ashe, Ashe. How are they supposed to decipher if you're taken or not, if you're entertaining all of these other people? And it's not going to stop past energies from trying to come through. They see that you're moving on. They see that you're aligning yourself to spirit. They see that you're about to be happy. And how dare you be happy without them? Like this. <laughs> like this. Ashe. Ashe. Continue to grow. Continue to be patient. Don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. You will know it when you feel it. That's how you'll know. It's coming from the heart. Honor and treasure. Take this time to uh, review past relationships take this time to review past you what errors did you make in the past in regards to relationships how can you learn from those moments and be able to move forward ashe ashe but this is a like i said a, a life partner this is a life partner life partner That is also going to further help you to grow. It's going to bring a lot of balance. They're going to bring a lot of balance into your life. Just have some patience. Make sure that you're ready. We talk a good game until it's time for it to happen, baby. And then it's like, what? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Aye, Bobo. Unsupportive friends are haters. Max, mask is off, baby. You're resilient. Your strength. Ashe, Ashe. And then we have love is coming. <laughs> love is coming. Patience. Love is coming, baby. Have some patience. Don't. What they say? Girl, let me put these cards down. Huh? What are they talking about here? What are they saying? They are asking you to please wait. Have some patience. Don't rush it. Love is coming. That's the poet energy right here. Love is coming. Whether you want it to or not. Whether you are expecting it or not. It's coming. And it's up to you. The choice is yours. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, that seven energy is always going to bring up that balance. Ashe, unsupportive friends, mask off. They're haters. Yeah, they're haters. You may be seeing that uh, you and your friends are all single. I hear, I hear that a lot. There's is a lot of single people out here. And they're lying to themselves, telling themselves that, you know, they are happy to be single. There are people out here that are happy to be single. Let's be clear. Hmm. There are some of us that have no problems, baby. Either way, in a loving relationship, long term, mid term, short term, we happy with ourselves. Being single, we happy with ourselves. Ashe, ashe. But it's coming through that um, maybe some of these friends uh, y'all cultivated, y'all got together because you know y'all were not successful in um, finding the person that you're looking for. Ashe, ashe. And y'all have been hitting the scene. Y'all been hitting the scene, especially now that it's warm. I say y'all been hitting the scene, putting on your, you know, your your best best. And now the attention is on you. 
and you you'll start to notice They'll fight for your time. They'll start to throw slurs about this guy that's coming through, about this girl that's coming through. They'll find fault with this person every, <laughs> in every way possible. They're going to find some faults. They're going to find some problems. Max off. You'll see that y'all was in some form of a of, of weird trauma bond. And now that you are breaking free, now that you are starting to move forward and starting to feel that energy and that buzz and you're allowing spirit to pull you in that direction. Yeah. You're going to see that they're going to be around. When you get your man, when you get your girl, they're not going to be around. And they're going to swear you changed. No, you didn't change. They changed. I say, I say. But look. You're resilient. So all of this right here, like you're nervous. You're feeling like you're running out of time. You're not. Continue to focus. You see the sun coming through? Continue to focus on you. Continue to let love move you. Continue to let love guide you. It's going to lead you right to the person that you've been looking for, baby. Right to the person you've been looking for. The choice is yours. The choice is always ours. The choice is yours. Let's go ahead and take a look. Love is coming. Are you ready is the question. We'll take you. Ashe. Aye, Bobo. Twelve, twelve. I am focused. And 16, I am perceptive. And look at that, 999, nine, nine, way to come through. So if you've been seeing signs and symbols and synchronicities, this is what these sevens are all about. Amplify energies of divine, amplify energies of Yemiya. Pay attention, you may be seeing 1212, which comes out to be 66, which comes out to be um, irritable. You may be irritable. That growth spurt, that, that last little bit of shadow work, that last little bit of... Um, Basically, baby, work. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to push through. Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. The entire journey? Mm-hmm. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. They're telling you to wait. Your angels are right behind you. Before you get off the path, before you take that wrong turn, they're telling you, baby, you're about to take a wrong turn. Coming with a warning. Aye, bo, bo, ashe, yo. 999 is coming through with thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of your life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique is coming through 999 like i said the past is coming back exes are coming back thank them for the moments the time the energies ashe ashe let them see your growth let them see that you move past the hurt you grew past the hurt you grew past the pain aye bobo look at that serpentine energy yeah you're wiser now you're stronger now. You've shed those layers. There's nothing left uh, holding you back. There's no reason to continue to look to the past. The past is always trying to catch up with us though, ain't it? <laughs> Let them know. You have, a, you have a whole life ahead of you. I'm no longer looking backwards. I'm no longer entertaining the past. You're back there for a reason, baby. Ashe, Ashe, whatever ties or whatever words that need to be said so we can all move the fuck on, let's say that. Ashe, Ashe, you are manifesting. Your spiritual tribe is behind you. They're encouraging you to be patient, stay focused, stay committed, stay dedicated. Be mindful of the signs and symbols and synchronicities. Pay attention to your dreams. Ashe, do your breathing exercises. Journal or write. Listen to music. Dance. Do things of high energy and high vibrations, of high frequency. It matters. Ashe, Ashe, if you're trying to live this reality TV life and, and have the dramas and the relationships and all the rest of this stuff, that's not what divine is bringing, honey. So this is probably why everything came in reverse for you. You need to decide, are you looking for the bag or are you looking for love? Are you looking for peace or are you looking for drama? Are we going to allow ourselves to grow or are we going to be fearful? 
Are we going to cling on to the past or are we going to be optimistic and, and looking forward to the future? I say, I say 16. Here's that seven. Huh? There's that seven. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker. No coincidence that is coming up under that death and rebirth energy. Ashe. Ashe. Um, a wisdom seeker. And your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of, of, of others. I am perce uh, perceptive. Yeah. From the very beginning, they've come through saying that you're very intuitive. The poet watery energy vulnerability we were talking about that you know a very passionate person very artistic very you know creative you could be into photography you could be into um some form of art here i mean it's art all over the place here ashe ashe and very passionate with the fire coming through very passionate um about it ayi bobo ashe yo there's nothing to fear here, Power One. It's just a, a decision. Are you going to accept love? Stop acting like you don't know love when you see it. If you don't know what it is that you want, you know what it is that you don't want. Start there and then turn that shit around. Aye, bobo. I say, yo, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Love is coming, baby. Are you ready? Stay patient. Stay focused. Don't fall for the trappings. Mask are coming off what they say yeah unsupportive friends they hate us unsupportive family they hate us ashe 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 and be mindful when your mate gets here you'll see who your true friends are if you've been having a hard time trying to figure out who are the frenemies who's still foe who's still not meant to be in my life baby this mate that's coming through is about to show you aye bobo ashe yo peace 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 how to this is your reading and the energy that yimmy ya is bringing through to you the divine is bringing through to you is the sleeper ashe ashe it's coming through that you are um intuitive you may be a prophet ashe ashe you may have very um prophet dreams Aye, Bobo, the sleeper. So uh, your dreams tell you a lot. Shadow work is your domain. Aye, Bobo. I say, yo, you could be um, a root worker, a shadow worker, a shadow weaver. I say, I say, uh, deja vu's come through heavily for you. Uh, also, apparitions. Seeing things, seeing energy, uh, Auras, ashe, around people. You tend to see straight through people. Aye, bobo, ashe yo. Uh, there could be uh, some some nebulous energy around you as well. Um, it uh, is also saying cause and effect. So you could be dealing with something of your past. Past energy has been coming through. So you could be dealing with something of your past, whether on a good end or bad end. Um, there's something that needs to be learned here. There's a takeaway here um if you've been struggling with gaining clarity you're going to need to tap into your intuition you're going to need to trust your gut ashe ashe let's go ahead and see what energy is coming through uh you could be a witch you could be a spiritual practitioner ashe ashe uh you could be the one that rocks with moon energy i.e bobo ashe yo look as you have an extra card coming through ashe Ashe, let's go ahead and get into it. We have go with the flow here for you. We have prosperity and abundance. Hibernation and rejuvenation. Ashe. And then we have meditation for creativity. Oh, wow. Let's move these down.
All right. Energy picked up for you, Power 2. Like, the uh, the music got really loud. So, this may be a time where things are, are very loud in your world. You may need to take some time uh, to hibernate. This is, you see, she's sleeping. The sleeper. She's sleeping. She's getting her rest. Uh, there are crystals that are around her. They look like clear quartz. I'm not really seeing too much of a color. Uh, there is some green coming through, but that could be the reflectiveness that's coming through from the grass here, from all this green. So this is matters of the heart. It looks like you're trying to gain clarity in regards to um, turning your creative uh, hobbies into something that's lucrative. Go with that flow. That's probably what your dreams have been telling you. Uh, they could have been, some of, them, of your dreams could have also been nightmares uh, with all this fire. Um, they could seem a little scary. Ashe, Ashe. But it's really showing you of your power. There's a wand here. Ahi, boo, boo. So this could be like the, the, the king of wands, the uh, page of wands, the knight of wands. Ashe. Ashe, even the queen of wands. Look, fur babies all around. So spiritual animals. Oh, and then we have cats. Oh, this, you know, is a heavily cat influenced deck. Ashe, Ashe. But uh, cats and dogs. So you could have a pet. Uh, this is coming. I'm pausing here. Pregnancy. Pregnancy pause. Uh, because this is reminding me of the last video. Uh, where we were talking about having a blank slate, a clean slate. If you haven't saw that video, check that out. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, and really getting creative. This water energy is that we're still in cancer is telling you to go with the flow. Look, she done left her paddle. She doesn't have a care in the world here. Sitting back, chilling. Just enjoying life. Ashe, Ashe. So if you've been trying to seek clarity or confirmation... In regards to um, whether you should take this hobby and, and, you know, pursue it. Because this is a goal, this is a dream, this is a passion of yours. And you're seeing that this is the way that the world is going right now. Honoring and, and honing in on our skills. Ashe, Ashe. Your dreams have been very vivid, have been very detailed. Have you been paying attention? Uh, you can see roots here. So get to the root of the, the heart of the matter. What's stopping you? from that is it that you've taken some chances in the past and they weren't successful you failed let's just call it what it was you failed there is something to be gained from that ashe what you threw out is coming back to thee the only thing that you can do is accept it embrace it learn from it take what you need and then leave the rest there's no um i'm not showing any signs of hardship so I feel like you've learned this lesson already. Ashe, Ashe. You now have a good understanding of your dreams are not just dreams. You see that now. That they're not just dreams. You're actually... Oh, this is heavy. Because you're actually seeing things from one realm and seeing it take place. From the spiritual comes the physical. So what you're seeing in your dreams, you're actually starting to see manifest in in real time let that be confirmation to you that you are powerful you are a seer and you do your best seeing um in dream world so even in meditation when you hibernate and rejuvenate getting your rest doing your meditation you see signs and symbols and synchronicities you understand the message more clear in the spiritual realm and sometimes you prefer to stay there Oh, I'm also being told that uh, if you are taking your spiritual gifts and turning them into a business, you want to make sure that you're clear in your disclaimers. Ashe, Ashe, you want to make sure that you you understand and then your um, clients or your patients, however it is that you are, are, are working, you need them to understand that they are the ones that are in control of their life. You can only tell them what they see. You don't reap or sow anything from this. Ashe, you want to be honest. You want to be transparent. Aye, bobo. Uh, divine is coming through. Yemi is coming through with this water energy, encouraging you to go with the flow. See where this goes. See where this leads before you just cancel it out, before you just sit up there and, and doubt yourself and tell yourself that, no, this can't be for you because uh, 
it doesn't look the way that it does for everybody else. This is your own personal journey. This is your journey. This is your gift. This is your life. This is your power. Ashe, you're creating something beautiful. And you can see it in the dream realm. It's time to take action with this fire blazing this blank canvas. <laughs> Clean slate. And, and create the life that you want. It's going to be very lucrative. Prosperity and abundance. Baby, listen. <laughs> Jody, Jody, my Jody. If this is not giving the image and the vibe and the feel of Jody Mama in the garden, all that hard work that she put in, having her to cry and, and, and find the peace in her decisions, Ashe, Ashe, and then seeing the fruits of her labor. Trust in her gut, trust in her intuition, choosing herself. Some of you may be dealing with grown ass kids that are still trying to behave like children, but still want to be grown at the same time and putting you in a bind. And you're being guided and moved um, to trust that you have done the raising. You will always be there for them if they need you. You will never just ghost them or disappear or abandon them. But it's time for them to create the life that they're looking for. Ashe, and it's time for you to enjoy yours. Aye, boo boo. Ashe, yo. Yes, indeed. I'm here for that. Let's move these cards out the way. Hmm. And then there's something missing here. What's in the shadows here? Change and progress. Yeah, things are changing. You're headed in a different direction. You're definitely being encouraged to try something new. Take a chance on you. Create the life that you want. This is also coming from, and look at all these stars. Ashe, Ashe, baby, you can't help but shine. You're definitely a star. Pow to you really want to take a look into that clean slate uh, reading. The, tap into that energy and that vibration. Ashe, Ashe, uh, continue to look up, continue to be of high vibration. You got stars here and stars here. So your ancestors are around, your tribe is around you. They have been sharing and showing you things in your dreams, whether it's daydreams, um, meditation, deja vus. I'm also hearing the matrix for you, like an oracle. Ashe, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Things have changed. Things are changing for you and you're starting to see some progress. So you may have been working with crystals. You may have been working um, with the esoteric, with the unbeaten path, with the left path, baby. It really did come through and that's why I chose, uh, chose uh, which energy for you because it really came through when I saw the sleeper and I was spending time with the sleeper. It became clear to me, clarity, it became clear to me that your clair, clarity, your clair is the gift of sight, being a prophet, Ashe. Ashe, you have people come to you all the time telling you this, that, and a third, and they can't believe that it came true. And how did you do that? And how did you, and you be like, I don't know, is a gift. Continue to honor it. Continue to work with it. It says meditation for clarity. Yeah. So if you don't meditate, you want to start meditating. You're going to get even more um, answers that way. You really are gifted, pal, too. Truly, and you're worried about right now, you're thinking about, you're entertaining, you're playing around with becoming um, prosperous from your gift. And you may struggle with that. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're leading with a place of love, as long as you're being genuine and sincere and honest, this is a part of your legacy. This is your birthright how to this is from the roots your ancestors are coming through saying we've given you the torch crystal clear you're becoming crystal clear that this is not a fluke this is not a coincidence this is not something that yeah you may have read some books and you may have studied and practiced but you find that you're good at it and it feels good to do it you're a natural let that come through you're a natural so working with crystals or working with auras, ashe, ashe, uh, either shadow work, 
root work, maybe working with candles, fire magic. Take a look into that. Uh, doing some fire breathing to get that clarity um, in regards to tapping into your creativity to become prosperous and live a life of abundance. You've been encouraged to, to go with the flow on that. You don't got to put no hard work into it. Tap into your thoughts and your feelings. You see, she's putting her hand into the water. She's not doing so much of the physical. She's tapping into the spiritual. And look at the sun rays that are shining through. Ashe, breaking through the clouds. Aye, Bobo, breaking through the clouds, baby. So, uh, you could be a person that likes to be on the water, near the water. Maybe you have a little canoe. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, you, maybe you like to do some rafting. Aye, Bobo. You're very um, energetic. Seeing this fire come through and all this water come through, movement coming through. Yeah, you're very energetic. Balance that out. You may be doing a little too much right now. You may be um, so busy creating, creating, creating that you're not getting the proper rest. And that could be causing a block. I'm seeing that there's some form of block here. It's through the rest. Make sure you're getting your proper rest. Ashe, Ashe. Let's take a look into the title. We will definitely take you. Okay. Aye, bo bo. Ashe yo. Here we have the Eight of Wands. Came out in reverse. We're going to take it. Ashe. Ashe. I feel like for me personally, um, Devon is encouraging me to really start tapping into uh, the reversals. Ashe. Ashe. Uh, things are changing here i.e. bobo you could be at a standstill you could be feeling um like things are not going to pick up think like you you won't be able to pick it up you don't this is not something that you're really going to have to study this is something that you're going to have to accept that comes natural to you and maybe you're the first person or the only person in this lifetime on this realm right now that has this gift Things skip generations, baby. Things skip generations. And you could be tasked with the with the charge of it all. Ashe, Ashe. So things may be taking a, a little more time for you to accept because of the worker that you're being called to be. It's not just reading tarot. It's not just studying the, the crystals. It's not just studying the colors and the energies and the vibrations. There's a deeper uh, purpose for you here. And you could be struggling like you want to be the type of uh, medium that speaks of love and, and high vibration and, and energy and moonbeams and rainbows. But here it is. It's like you have a, a dark spirit, you may say. You may feel as though you're so dark on the inside. And when I when I hear that, I'm also thinking of like Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy comes through a lot with uh, their outside appearance not matching, matching their inside appearance. Ashe, Ashe. Wheel of Fortune came out sideways. It's up to you. It's up to you. We definitely want to take it in the positive. Ashe. We have Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Leo energy, Taurus energy. So this is something, like I said, it's out of your hands. It's out of your control. You're a natural. You're a natural. And that cycle of you being in doubt or insecure or feeling like you are an imposter all of that is coming to an end. Your ancestors, give me Yah, the divine is coming through to tell you that, yeah, this is a real gift of yours, Pow to This is really who you are. Ashe, Ashe. And being a shadow worker, baby, let me tell you, being a shadow worker, shadow weaver, taking a look into the dark and, and sharing that light with others. People are going to want to keep you accountable for the things that you share with them. That is not your cross to bear. You don't have to solicit people or you may want to be careful with that. You may find that it's better to allow people to come to you. If for nothing else, they came to you. I didn't come looking for you. You came looking for me. Ashe, Ashe. Um, working the crossroads. Aye, bo, bo. So even though Yemiya is all over this, she may be bringing a Lawa Odisha for you. Ashe, Ashe. And for you, pal, too, y'all know I work in spirit. So if spirit is saying, Orisha Lawa, Orisha Lawa it is. And we will see who's coming through for you. 
Ashe, Ashe. Ten of Pentacles. Success. This is what I'm saying. It started out as a hobby. It's like you fell into your gift and you didn't even realize it. Aye, Bobo, that's what happened. You fell into your gift. This is going to be very lucrative for you. As long as you stay balanced. As long as you remember to speak the truth. As long as you're telling the truth. As long as you're sharing what you see. And not allowing your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your shit to get in the way. No one will be able to try to keep you on the hook. Try to force you to be accountable for the things that y'all discussed. Free will is given to all. Remember to remind uh, your, your clients of that. Ashe, Ashe. Knight of Swords. Putting things into action. Putting things into action. You're a little slow moving. You're, you're a little slow moving. Cause and effect with this eight energy. What you throw out will come back to thee. Maybe you're trying to determine. Do you want to be a shadow worker? Because you. It all depends on your delivery. It all depends on your approach. It all depends on how you want to use your gift. I'm a shadow weaver. So I take a look into the dark. I bring out the dark. But. From the dark comes the light. So I balance it out with as much positivity and love as I can. But my sole purpose is the truth. That's it. And the truth ain't always pretty. The truth hurts. Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, you're going to have to be a warrior about yours. You're going to have to make that decision. And once you do, things will definitely start to pick up. Make sure your foundation is set. Make sure you're strong and safe and secure. Keeping yourself protected as well. This energy is coming to you. There's really not anything you can do about that, pal, too. Okay? Three of wands, see? This is this is what Yemiya and, and Divine is coming through to let you know. You've already made the decision spiritually. It's time to do it physically. And that's three. So... Things are expanding for you. Things are opening up for you. Things are in alignment. You are in alignment. And we'll take the shadow card. Two of wands. See? You just have to physically get on board with that. The three came out before uh, the two here. Spirit has already told you what it is. It's up to you to decide to accept it. That's, that's where we are with that. Make your decision. Are you going to align yourself with spirit? Are you going to um, accept that you can be honest, truthful, sincere, sincere, and still be profitable, still be marketable, still make this a business? When you are true to your spiritual practices, that is the hardest thing to do. Is to become okay with making money and being successful off of something that divine has given you. But don't forget, you have to accept it. You have to honor it. You have to hone in on it. You have to work with it. You have to continue to see how things grow and how things change and what's the trend. I told you this is coming in regards to your family. This is a birthright for you, pal, too. This is a birthright. You're being asked, are you going to accept your birthright? Are you going to start to move in your birthright? Are you going to stand up and defend your gifts? Are you going to continue to allow society to tell you who you are and what you're about? Are you going to surround yourself with the people that love you? So during the highs and the lows, your foundation is set. You're not looking for people to validate who you are. You don't need anyone to tell you who you are because you know who you are. You're not the next no one. You're you. You're the next you. And then I'm getting a message coming through really clear that you rely heavily on celebrity energies. You look to them. And if you don't measure up and compare, first person I saw was Erica Badu in my head. So you could be a Pisces. Ashe, Ashe. I see that, you know, someone like Erica Badu, someone like Jill Scott. Cree Summers, happy birthday. Cree Summer. I always put an S on the end of her name, but Cree Summer. Um, you know, you may you may look up to them, but feel inadequate. That's where that imposter syndrome comes from. And when they say something and it doesn't align with your truth, 
you tend to disregard your truth and want to align what they say. Those powerful, beautiful women are powerful and beautiful in their own right. What works for them may not work for you. You have to become true to who you are. Ashe, Ashe, Aye, Bobo, let that come through. So much success is out here. Don't forget to get your rest. Don't forget to check in with spirit. Don't forget to allow spirit to lead. Allow spirit to guide. Go with the flow. You'll know when it's time to take charge. You'll know when it's time to put in work. You'll know when it's time to get busy. What are you waiting for? Why are you so hesitant to make the decision? Can't you see that once you make the decision, it's going to be a beautiful thing? Can't you see that? I hope you can. Don't forget to take a look at the images. Whatever these cards mean to you. And I just saw three, but we're going to... It, it flipped back in. It came out and then it flipped back in. Oh, and then it says, okay, you saw three. But I'm, And what are you doing here? Okay, y'all listen. I'm going to show you exactly how they came out. I told you three says you're expanding. Things are expanding for you. I saw three pop out and went back into the deck. And then 33 came out. So this is divine energy. Divine is telling you to trust this. Y'all listen, check this out. This deck ain't even out. Nowhere on this table. These cards were not together. They were nowhere near each other. I don't know why this air sign. So it's coming through. That it's You could be your air sign. It's coming through very heavily. Air sign. Libra. Aquarius, Gemini, and is encouraging you to be bold, speak your mind, expect to receive messages, phone calls. Divine is telling you that you're expanding, your gifts are expanding, and it's time to, to put yourself in, a, in a, a place of servitude, providing a service. To others, why shouldn't you get paid for that? And you're going to have such a, a softness about it. All this water energy and all this earth energy. Taurus is coming through heavily on this. Venus is out here on this. Moon energy is out here. You got the sleeper, nighttime, moon energy with the water, ashe, ashe, but you also have the balance of the sun. So you're a very balanced person. You're becoming very balanced. If you accept your gift, that's what brings the balance. And it says 33, master number. Any positive changes or projects you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect your power to manifest and create um, will be heightened. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. You are expanding. Divine is coming through. Yemiya is coming through to tell you to be bold. Speak your mind. Like I said, as long as you're telling the truth, you can't go wrong because you have a direct connect to source. Hmm. Take a look in the ghost because I saw I just saw Whoopi when that man jumped inside of her. Orlando, listen. Come through. Things are changing for you. You're growing so much spiritually. Your gifts are so potent and powerful. And with that, because I said Capricorn energy, um, comes a lot of responsibility. Hmm. And maybe you will... Like, people are probably already reaching out to you. Like I said, because you've already been telling the truth. The truth. Not your truth. Not their truth. You've already been telling the truth. Hmm. Go to your altar. Your spiritual tribe, your ancestors are encouraging you. Let's put you over here because you don't even belong here. And that's the thing. You feel as though that you don't, that don't even belong here. You didn't even ask for this. You don't even want this. And I was telling the sister uh, a couple of days ago that those are the true gifted ones. They, 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 we done try to give our passions and our gifts away. We done will them away. We done wish them away. We don't even want them. They bring so much. People don't like to hear the truth, especially the unexpected truth, especially when they didn't share these thoughts with no one. And here your ass come just airing it all out. Airing it all out. Be bold. Speak your mind. 
you have to tell the truth. This is your charge. This is why you're here. This is your purpose, pal, too. Ashe, you've been trying to figure out your purpose. You're a prophet. You're a seer. Ashe, Ashe, 99. Look at that. Amplify energies of three. Ashe, three times three is nine. Amplify energies. You are courageous. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. Baby, listen. Listen. Did I not just say that? Y'all saw me. Did I not just say that? Listen, got my day on ancestors bell going crazy. Be bold. Be brave. They're saying be bold. Be courageous. There's nothing to fear here. Trust the divine. Trust your purpose. Oh, that is beautiful, Pow 2. 33 and 99. Hmm. Whew. I had to pause on that one. Yes, take that in. Let that come through. Stay calm. You don't have to overthink it. Remember, you're a natural. Go with the flow. You may work with water. You got water and fire here. So like I said, fire energy, candle magic, fire magic, water magic, maybe a scryer because we have a sleeper. So you're, you see, so maybe working with smoke, water and fire equals the smoke. Ashe, Ashe. Oh, uh, what do you call those? Those ink blots. Maybe you work in ink blots. See that? Maybe you're helping people heal through like ink blots or um, again, fire, smoke, things like that. The tattle, ashe, ashe, bones, cowrie shells come through ancestors. Yes. Maybe you tried tarot and, and, and tried oracle and it just wasn't working. You're being encouraged to take a look into your lineage, your ancestors, that path, whatever that looks like. Don't forget, we're all a, a blend, a unique blend. Mm-hmm. And then what's that final card? <laughs> I am a creative, baby. I am creative. Angels are ready to, to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life that you love. Baby, listen. What'd I say? Jody's mama. Where she at? Jody's mama. Come on through. Jody's mama. Come on through, Jody's mama. It's time for you to start creating. One, one, one. Is that not divine? And if this is not a sign of success, I don't know what is. Amplify energies of three. That's three, three, three right there. We're talking about a seven, seven, seven day. Seven, seven, seven energy. And here you are popping out with a three, three, three energy. Huh? You will be successful. You have to know this. You have to own this. Before you can even get success, you got to own your gift. You got to accept that your gift does not look always like moonbeams and rainbows. The truth is the truth. But you will bring that truth in such a loving manner. Air energy has some sense of detachment. So you're going to have to remember to keep your boundaries, pal Two, You're going to need to remember... That you are a hypersensitive. You're an empath. You can see the unseen. And again, that's unnerving. We talked about this, pal, too. That's unnerving. But it is what it is. Stop holding back. This is your purpose. Ashe, Ashe, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Talk to me. Have you been seeing things, visions, dreams coming true? Deja vus. Do you find that you daydream a lot? Even at nighttime, do you daydream a lot? Do you just zone out? Do you be on autopilot like your spirit just floats and then you come back with so much knowledge and information that you don't even know 
how you know. Hmm? You got a good support system here. You got a good team here. Do some self-reflection. You've been so busy. Take a nap. You can't see clearly. Take a nap. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. Tap in the spirit. Align yourself to your heart. This water is green, baby. Starts off blue. Telling your truth. Telling the truth. Tell yourself your truth. Speak the truth to you. As long as you stay truthful to you, you won't have a problem. You will not have a problem in telling others the truth. If you can tell yourself the truth, you can tell, your, you can tell others the truth. And that's what Divine wants you to know. You're a warrior, baby. You're one of my warriors, baby. Talk your shit. I ye bo bo. I say, yo. Peace, 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 peace. Hey, I say. Right before we get into it, y'all, I just want to say that for Power 3, it has been a challenge. Uh, that is why this video has been delayed. It was a lot of noise, a lot of distractions. Like, my husband started cutting the grass and the bushes and all the rest of this type of stuff. And then cars blasting music. I mean, it was just... It was a lot. <laughs> so I had to put it on pause. And then I was grateful that I did because I only had 15%. So there could be a lot of activity, a lot of noise, uh, things that are trying to distract you, get you frustrated, get you to stop, get you to quit, get you to give up. We're not doing any of that. And it's coming through that you may be um, a new business owner or um, a business that needs to go to the next level or is ready to go to the next level and you're not necessarily sure in regards to how you're going to do that well the 777 energy that has been about and is still out and about baby listen when i tell you something i know um and yimmy the divine they're both coming through to let you know that mentorship is the name of the game for you someone is going to come in uh to from what I gathered, pay it forward. So someone did this for them, they're doing it for you. And when it's your turn, you get to pay it forward as well. They're going to come in to help you, whether to get started or to take things to the next level. Um, at first, it came across that it would be like older energy, but for some, it actually may be younger energy. Like we got whiz kids out here. We have kids that are like really doing the day one thing. Young adults, I say, I say. Um, so just be on the lookout for either or. It's really going to benefit the both of you financially. You know, it says mentorship and finances. So this is going to be a good partnership. This is what Divine is saying. This is like, um, this is not like. A game, a bamboozle. This is not to swindle you out of anything. Both of you are going to be able to grow and flourish in regards to that. Uh, so this is about, um, you could honestly be someone who works with their hands. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, specifically though, it came through that salon owners like Marie Laveau, Madam C.J. Walker. So you could be getting into the hair care business, opening up a salon, doing something with beauty. Ashe, Ashe, if any of that resonate and rocks, um, then rocking with Marie Laveau, learning her story, using her as inspiration. Madam C.J. Walker, using her as inspiration. Those were the two that came through for me. But anyone that you may be looking up to or um, seeing how they got started, using them as motivation, Ashe, Ashe, you definitely want to rock with that energy right now, i.e. Bobo, because sometimes that is the mentorship, Ashe, connecting with that energy of needing to learn, needing to know, needing to practice, needing to explore, when you throw that energy out, that's what's coming back, seven energy is manifesting energy, seven, 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 signs, symbols, and synchronicity, so what you throw out, that's what's coming back to thee. So if you don't know how to get started or you're ready to go to the next level and you really need like a partnership, that energy is here. Ashe, Ashe. You could do a uh, needlepoint, maybe palm reading. Some could be feeling like when I see this card, uh, for some reason, um, and not even just for some reason, but I think of Jesus. So 
maybe your path doesn't align with what society is deeming. So you could be getting crucified. You may be fearing of not being able to, uh, I guess, make everybody happy, so to speak. But this is not about making everybody happy. This is about your dream, your goal, your passion, your gifts. Ashe, Ashe. And uh, if you build it, they will come. So don't have any fear about the path that you're on. This is divinely guided. This is what divine is bringing in, encouraging you to, you know, even if it's a hobby and you've been tinkering around with turning it into something more lucrative yeah there are people that are out there that can show you how to do that to can, that can really get you started so I'm hearing networking you know you don't have to be some well established business to network a lot of times internships mentorships networking getting your name out there getting your face out there getting your brand out there Ashe Ashe um, that's what will attract what you need you got to get started baby take it from me ashe <laughs> ashe so let's go ahead and get into it let's see what this energy is bringing mm -hmm. and i'll be using the unfolding path tarot deck for you <laughs> trust the unknown Trust in the unknown. That is what Divine is saying here. Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. And drum. <laughs> Dream and journey. Ashe. Ashe. So the Sky Father, whoever it is that you rock with, Olu the Mayor, Divine, Source, God, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, Allah, Ashe, Ashe. Like I was saying, um, seeing Jesus here. So, Sky Father, God, God, Source, Divine. However it is that you rock. Same energy, different names. Ashe. Ashe. And this energy is coming through uh, with masculine energy. Ahi, Bobo, Sky Father, Ashe, Ashe. We have Patron with air energy. So, um, rocking with higher vibration. Getting that mental clarity getting the knowledge that you need, getting that partnership. It can even be a partnership between you and divine. Ashe, Ashe. Divine is coming through with that 777 telling you to trust in the unknown. This is what it was it was saying where you got to you got to get moving. You know, like you got to get started. Big small or otherwise, throw that energy out there. Divine is hearing you. Divine is open. This is an eagle. So um, just make sure that your business is legit. You're not trying to cut any corners. Aye, bo, bo. Ashe, yo, Marie Laveau is screaming right now, y'all. So Marie Laveau, she was um, a salon owner, hairdresser. Ashe, Ashe. And she would listen intently to the conversations that were taking place around her and would find ways to benefit these jewels, these gems, these breadcrumbs, these wisdoms and words uh, that were coming through to her greatest and highest good. So much so that she started to be like uh, a consultant, a mentor, a therapist, a oracle, Ashe and Oracle, Ayi Bobo, Asheo. And not only did she use that for them, she used that at her will. Ashe, Ashe. So she used this to her greatest advantage. Now, Marie Laveau's, Pataki's Folklores and Legends says that Marie Laveau's mentor was Dr. John. I mentioned this in uh, POW 2. So you may want to take a look into that as well. There were a lot of energies of um, Loise and all these just that were coming through. So take a look into that. But yeah, Dr. John, uh, master herbalist. So you could be working with herbs. You could be working with oils. Uh, you could be creating blends, potions, lotions. Um, I'm seeing bakers and chefs. And shout out to my twin. Ooh, pastry chef. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Uh, you could be uh, knitting any type of needlework. Ashe, Ashe. 
Mm -hmm. And then it says mirror guardian, time to reflect. It's time for you to take a look at yourself clearly. It's time for you to see the good, the bad, the ugly, and the what the fucks. Whatever is blocking you, whatever is stopping you, you want to take a look into that. Uh, this is also a way of shadow work. Because if you're doing like mirror work, uh, dark mirror, I'll take a look into that. Uh, if you want me to discuss my experience that I had with the dark mirror, let me know down in the comment down below. Power three. Ashe, Ashe. And of course, beat your drum. This is all about you, your spirit, and your intuition, and your vibration. All these sevens of, of signs and symbols and synchronicities, it's time to put those together. It's time to really see yourself as that business owner, see yourself as that successful business owner, see yourself moving product, moving uh, love and peace and health. Whatever it is that you're looking to get into, it is coming across that it's going to be very organic. Uh, it's it's going to be natural. Those are two totally different things. Ashe, Ashe. So if you're just getting into the business, no matter what it is, just understand that when you're putting things on the label, you want to make sure that you know exactly what it is, what's going on. Start practicing those conversations in the mirror. That's how, you know, from the way that I remember, that's how the most successful people start with their speeches or with their interviews or, or with their, oh, I just saw a shark tank <laughs> looking for investors. I say, I say, I say. So wherever you are on that level, you want to make sure that if it's organic, it's organic. You want to know the difference between organic and natural. There are some things that are very harmful, but they're natural. I say, so not everything that is natural good for you or for your product. Ashe, Ashe, arsenic is natural. <laughs> Just to give you an example, and arsenic will take you to take you up out of here. <laughs> Just to give you an example, Ashe, Ayi Bobo, Ashe Yo. Um, I also just heard that to remember that it's about quality, not quantity. Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, dream. Go on your journey. This dream is going to take you places. So um, I was speaking of how 777 is divine energy and divine is taking our biggest dream and putting something, something on the end. So know that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I've been sitting in this room for two hours. Nothing. May everyone be safe. May everyone be okay. Ashe, ashe, ahi, bo, bo. But I did hit fire truck. So maybe it's time or divine is trying to put a, a fire up under you. That spark, that energy of... Leo season to come and the moon phases that was in Sagittarius. Ashe, Ashe. So there is some time to uh, really come with a game plan. But just know that Divine is all over this. 777, baby. <laughs> Divine is all over this. So just take in knowing that it's going to be really big. You're like, you're going to be a big name, big business, big. Ashe, Ashe, beat your drum, stay connected to divine, tap into your intuition, your gut, rock with that. Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. Let's go ahead and take a look into the title, babe. Yo, this is like my favorite deck that I have to shuffle. I love shuffling the unfolding path tarot. Absolutely. It fits in my hand. It's not too bulky. It feels good. Oh, yes. I love it. Let's move these up a little bit. Just a little bit. Ashe. Ashe. Clarity, please. Mm -hmm. So this uh, mirror guardian <clears throat> jumped up on to the patron. So yeah, you want to take some time to reflect. There are energies, see, you're coming out of all kinds of craziness here. <laughs> you're coming out of it, baby. Yep. 
Don't be afraid. Uh, allow this cycle to end. Allow the, the thoughts of, of hurt and pain and fear. Something is blocking you. And you're being encouraged to trust. And the only way that you can really do that is to take some time and really get to see you. Really get to know you. The cosmos are out here. So um, see what the planetary systems are doing right now. Ashe. Ashe. Hmm. Learning opportunity. Five of Wands, learning opportunity. Um, this is where a lot of people would assume that there is in a conflict, there's a battle. But with this energy, you see that star forming. This is a great learning opportunity and a, a building of trust and success and learning and growing and really having that good rapport. You haven't had that, you know, in the past. Don't focus on that. Don't allow this to deter you from that success. Ashe, Ashe, if this is what's on your mind, this is why you're being asked to shadow work, work this out. People have, you know, done all kinds of things, have said all kinds of things, and they will continue to do so. How you respond, how you react, how you process, how you take it in, how you feel about yourself, that's what matters. Ashe, that's what matters. This person that's coming through to assist you is going to help guide you and, and teach you the ropes about uh, mental intelligence, emotional intelligence, spiritual intelligence, and you'll be able to do the same thing. This is going to be a very beautiful partnership and we have a five here so that's doors gates and portals that's journeys that's success ashe ashe it may be a little challenging to find your groove with others but it will come together this is good energy here we're taking energy of heartbreak and pain and lies and deceit and betrayal and backstabbing it could have been feminine energy. I see 13 here. It could have been feminine energy. I.e. Bobo. There could have been some uh, betrayals. There could have been uh, some heartache, some heartbreak. It's time for you to go into the shadows and get to the heart of the matter. Ashe. Ashe. And that is already ended. That's already coming through it. And you have the Sky Father, but then I feel like you have ancestral uh, feminine energy telling you to, to continue to heal, continue to grow, continue to learn, take what you need, and leave the rest. Ashe, Ashe, you're going to be successful. They're working with you. Take that time to see yourself clearly. Ashe, know that you've already come throughout the cycle. Don't allow fear uh, to dictate how you move i.e. will go i say you'll continue to beat your drum you need to call on your ancestors beat your drum you need to call on your spirit beat your drum if you don't have a physical drum drum beat your drum i say i say i will go hmm Yeah, there's a lot of worrying about this partnership. Um, it could have already presented itself to you. You're probably thinking about it. And your tribe is asking you to really take a look at the, the relationship aspect of things right now. You may be taking something romantically in regards to a partnership and applying it to something business-wise. Or you may be hesitant to trust anyone again. We're not allowing people to win. Ashe, Ashe, you've blocked you're, you're blocking you're blocking period you're blocking i.e. bobo is having a hard time coming through and that's how I felt with your reading I had a hard time getting this message out so you may be even blocking me but trust and believe when you're ready and you want to move forward you'll know where to go and you'll know where to find me Ashe Ashe See, three of pentacles a partnership this is a beautiful partnership it's going to be lucrative it's going to grow and expand past your wildest dreams ashe we have um oshun and oh um shango out here ayi bobo ashe yo shango with the apples 
Uh, his number is six, which is amplified energy of three. Ashe, Ashe. And then we have the B, and we have honey here. Mm hmm. So maybe honey um, may be coming through as a key component uh, for this business. Ashe, Ashe. Oshun number is number five. So no coincidence, they came out here together. They combined adds an eight. So um, that partnership could also be coming through uh, Orisha's Loa's spiritual guides, i.e. Bobo, Ashe, your divine. You're going to have to rock with your spirit on this one. You're going to have to rock with your heart. This is why they're telling you, heal, continue to heal. You're very close. Continue to heal. You're already, spirit is already moving on. You're the one that's still a little hesitant and still like not willing to let go. Let it go. That needs to close out so you can openly trust not only this new partner that's coming through, but divine source ashe ashe having your ego eye on you have grown you now know the energies and the vibration that comes with lies and deceit heartbreak and betrayal you know that ashe ashe we're, we're not going to stop allow it to stop us from getting our mate divine is bringing a mate in but you're blocking it this over here needs to be worked out in a major way ashe ashe Mm hmm. So it's coming through quite different. See? New journeys, new opportunities. The fool. Being happy and being excited. We're not allowing people to win. They're living their best life. They didn't, you know, try their best or did their worst. Destroy bits and pieces and parts of us. I saw Rocky and what did he say? Uh, that man broke pieces that could never be fixed, that will never work right, that will never be fixed, you know? We're not going to allow that to keep us from this new opportunity, this new journey, this new partnership, this new love. Baby, listen, this new love, this opulence of the life that we truly want. Don't be afraid of this. Use that energy of the heartbreak and betrayal. Use it. Put it to good use. And once you do, as you can see how things unfold, you'll find a way to come together with different people from different places and find the common thread. You'll be learning from them. They'll be learning from you. Uh, you could be in some form of, because I saw a shark tank, so you could be in some form of competition or um, there are other people trying to, to get deals and wheeling deals and it's something about your, your mental process in regards to that. You don't feel worthy. Baby, you are worthy. This is divine. This, you have something rare here as well. Hmm. I would say get ready. Get ready to be wealthy. Get ready to indulge. And this also, this nine energy is also saying... Um, like that pay it forward type of thing, sharing, whether it's your knowledge, your time, uh, or your abundance. Ashe, Ashe. There's a lot of red out here, a lot of wand energies out here. Uh, so this person may be coming through wearing a red shirt, something with red, uh, red hair. Ashe, Ashe. But this is transformative energy. Very young, very naive, very open. So it's going to be important for you to trust the divine energy that's bringing in this person that's going to help you and being able to know that they're not the charlatans that are out there that may also be trying to come your way if you're working on something right now you want to keep it a little close to the chest there is an energy that I'm, I'm feeling right now of someone stealing thoughts and ideas be mindful of who you're sharing your energy with if you haven't seen that video, Broski, check that out. Ashe, Ashe. So new opportunities are out here. We have uh, cycles are ending, cycles are ending, and then new ones are beginning if you're giving yourself the opportunity um, to work with not only the person that's coming through, but with your gifts, your talent, your craft, your skills. Ashe, Ashe. And final card, this one. All right, you boo boo. Ashe, yo, still, see? Something is not balanced out in your life. And I feel as though that is this. 
I feel as though that isn't a matter of the heart, but it's coming through the mind. With the patron being an air sign, you may still be fixated and focused on what someone is, has said. Like I said, crucified you. Um, and you're allowing that energy to cause confusion and doubt. To help block you from your blessings, from your success, from your love, from the wealth, from the stable home and environment that you so desperately crave, need, and deserve. Let's be clear. Ashe, Ashe, uh, you want to make sure that you are paying attention. Stay focused. Because with this energy coming through in a reverse, there's something that's not in alignment. There's something that's not balanced. Something is not right. Take a look um, in regards to the contracts read it even if it's coming from divine free will is given to all <laughs> let's be clear read and read the fine print ashe ashe mm -hmm. ayi bo bo ashe yo rare opportunities if you are going to allow yourself to dream the dream and get on the path and, and take that journey, the highs and lows. There's a lot of wisdom. Like I said, keep that sharp eye, eagle eye, pay attention um, to what's going on, especially what's going on within you. Ashe, Ashe. Full energy, Uranus energy, Ayi Bobo. So you could be an Aquarius. The person is coming through could be an Aquarius. Uh, we have wand energy, energy out here. So Leo is on its way. Don't forget that Leo is on its way. But Sagittarius and Aries as well. Ashe, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus with this nine of pentacles sitting up here. Water energy is out here. So let this pentagram that's coming together or this pinnacle, this five point star come through. I think that's the best way of saying it. This five point star, mind, body. Spirit, Ashe, Ashe, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit, the five senses, seeing all your possibilities, making the proper adjustments along the way, continue to heal yourself. Oshun is really coming through in regards to um, that love, that care, that nurturing. So is Yemiya with that 777. Yemiya number is seven. Ashe, Ashe. And this deck was screaming out. I think that when I saw the X's here, it brought out the X there. And those three X's do come through for Marie Laveau. I promise you that just came through. I promise you. Yes. X, X, X. So giving your petitions, reading about Marie Laveau. She's coming through really, really heavily for some. So if you rock with Marie Laveau, um, it's time to go to your altar. It's time to rock. I say there could be a new herb uh, that's coming through. Uh, you could be needing to take your um, job or your career and go all in. Take that to your altar. I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to do it, baby. But it is coming through that uh, you may need to go all in. Uh, with this new endeavor. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, manifest your desires into reality. Your power can change the outcome. Candle magic. Ayi bobo. There's some form of working. Maybe your business is going to be on a spiritual end. It's going to be on the esoteric side. Ashe, Ashe. You, you want to get okay with that. You want to become... Um, okay with that. Ashe, Ashe, manifest your desires into reality. That's what I was I was speaking of that earlier. Telling divine, telling source, telling your spiritual tribe, telling your guardian uh, what it is that you need. Ashe, Ashe. Look at that. Money key magic, the key to success. Money will flow effortlessly. A closed opportunity is now open. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to change. Take this to your altar. Change your perspective. Change your outlook. Change the way you view a business. Change the way you view yourself as, as a boss, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. Successfully, Ashe, 
Ashe, divine is bringing in uh, this energy of this mentorship. And like I said, it's going to be very lucrative for the both of you. Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. And then here we have Sage. Purify space and take time to pray. Ask for help from your guides. This is, listen, let them know. On this new journey, this new opportunity, you have a lot of blue here. Throat chakra energy. Becoming bold, becoming brave. And I love how she's young, but she has like a gray streak. Aye, bobo. A silver streak, a white streak. Ashe, ashe. So some, some clarity is definitely coming through. No, you do not know it all because you're, you're beginning here. It's a, it's a new cycle, it's a new chapter. Once you work this out in regards to accepting that the past has happened taking what you need and leaving the rest growing from it give yourself um a purifying like bath a uh, door ritual i say i say how it is you rock but save your environment clean cleanse concentrate your environment inside and out i say i say mm-hmm this is a very business uh, reading. This is a very successful uh, business, Ashe. Ashe. And like I said, working with herbs and here we go. So your business may be making bundles. I was saying, you know, making potions and lotions and things like that. So making bundles, being a service, being a service. Hey, Ashe. Ashe, being a service uh, for the community, for the people. Hmm. And maybe this is where you're having a hard time with the spirit and the physical, with the spiritual and the physical in regards to money. There's no need for that. You have a really good head on your shoulders. Yeah, there are times where you can be uh, free spirited or uh, sporadic or moving very fast, but overall. You have a good sense of uh, being grounded and taking things slow and doing things in a manner in which it's always success for you. Ashe, Ashe. Hmm. See? Those two cards just fell. Santeria as well as Alta. Yeah. It's time to go to your altar, give your lab give your libations. If you haven't cleaned or cleansed your altar in a while, you want to do that. Um, especially when you're putting in that work, especially when you're rocking with shadow work, keeping yourself protected, keeping your uh, altar space clean. Ashe, ashe. Uh, but just knowing that people have been seeing you, watching you, and they want to be a part of what you have going on. And you sh you definitely know it's coming through because I, I can't say you should. It just totally shut me down. You know the energies and the vibrations of what feels good and what feels right and what does not. Ashe, Ashe. If this rock with you, let me know down in the comments. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Ashe, Ashe. Yeah, so beautiful times, beautiful energy. New and exciting. You may be a little nervous. Don't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. There is some shadow work that needs to be done in order for... Um, the money to come through. Uh, anytime I see keys, I rock with pop a leg. But on this, you could be at a crossroad. Uh, yeah, go to your altar. Go to your altar. Do this shadow work. This is this cycle is already over. Regardless of who did it, take what you need from it and leave the rest. With all of this blue, maybe there were conversations that needed to be had and you didn't want to rock the boat. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. We have grown and we are wiser now, so we now know that we must speak how we feel. We must pay attention to the signs, the symbols, and the synchronicities. We must pay attention to the writings on the wall. Do not be afraid to get to the heart of the matter. No matter how ugly it is, it is always for your greatest and your highest good. Ashe, Ashe. Peace, 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 peace.